guys, welcome to Two Cute Quarter Exclusive Vlogs. It has been literally probably maybe eight days since I've did a vlog, and I apologize for that. Um, we've been pretty busy, been pretty hectic, and um, yeah, life has been very crazy, a little insane, a little bizarre, but um, we've um, I mean, I've been doing school and, of course, vlog, you know, my blog and, you know, trying to work on other stuff going on. So, I apologize for not having the blog up as much as I could, you know. I mean, I didn't promise anything anyway. I didn't say I was going to vlog every day, every single day, every minute of my life. I vlog when I can, when I can, when possible. As you know, that's I mean, I don't surround my life around the camera. It's just not it's not me because it, it can be good controlling and it can overcome things in your life if you're you know, ruin a lot. So anyway, um but I do it when I can, when I have free time I feel like it. So, um, you know, I do videos for predictions as well, you know, when there's WWE things going on, um, like, uh, the next one is Money in the Bank, and I'll have that up, um, a few days before it, so, look out for that, um, and it'll be a blog also, so definitely go check that out, um, also have exciting news for you guys, who reads, um, Best Someone on Karen, um, it's not WWE related, um, but one step close, um, it, it was a few days, I think it's been a few days now, um, I created, um, a podcast for Restaurant and Karen, um, it was a really, really hard kind of figuring out, um, if I wanted to or not, it was the best decision, um, because my high life is already hectic as it is, so I didn't know if I wanted to or not, but I decided that it would create more people involving and engaging people you know, into the box and talking about it and a little bit about, a little bit about it. So, you know, let me see it. I'll get it out. So I think that it, you know, it could create more audience for the vlog. And it actually is really interesting and I really like it. So I'm going to keep it up and I podcast, um, after a raw blog, um, at their NXT vlog, which is Wednesday, and then I do it at their SmackDown, which is Thursday currently right now. Um, but then once it changes, it will be, um, which is in July. Um, as many has heard, July will be July 19th is the first day of SmackDown going live. No more being taped, which was awesome. Um, so, uh, it would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be my would be my week for um the blog and podcast. And um and then uh, events usually are Sunday for pay per views. So definitely uh, it's gonna be different but I'm very excited for the new beginnings for WWE and more things coming. So yeah, I can't wait to see it all. I guess Monday we'll see what Exciting things. Oh. Cut to you on. But anyway, um, what else? Oh, um, my last vlog surrounded um the topic of my husband getting his teeth removed, and um, sadly that didn't happen. Um, due to I'm just gonna say price and money and uh, yeah, too expensive and I couldn't do it. So yeah, that never happened. Uh, right now we're ready on a few things to get done for the Navy, so yeah, just, just throw some of that. He returns to work Tuesday, and yeah, <laughs> it's been a pretty good week. Um, I worked on school this week, um, I'm fixing on some things air-wise and never going to be, so I know people's been dying for it to come, and I'm so sorry, but um, I'm trying to make sure it's good. After you're creating it, I want to make I want to make sure that it's just good and just right, and make sure nothing's wrong that I can see. Um, so definitely look out for that. We're coming soon. Um, 
it only has five chapters. Um, I wanted to make it more. Um, my goal was chap at least six chapters. Um, but I mean, I couldn't go any more with it. So I like the way it did. And um, I'm still thinking about the series thing. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm working on a new book right now, The Curse of the Chanted Map, which I'm very interested into. And I'm sorry for that one as well. So we shall see. Very so good things. Um, what else? Um, now, um, I do writings, um, well, not, just recently now, um, do little articles here and there, um, I gotta put mine in for Monday, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Anyway, um, oh, you want the camera to see you? Okay, hold on. <laughs> do you have anything to say? Show him your knee. Look what he did today. Look at his knee going neck away. Yes. Yeah, I found outside today and I think he scraped his knee falling or something. Oh, I don't know. He's a boy. What can you do? Um, I like to um, respond to um, our article that is blown up across the world. If you have not seen it, you definitely should check it out. Uh, let me advise you, it is very disturbing and very hard to watch. Um, I found the original video, unedited version of the video that I'm talking about. But anyway, um, if y'all didn't know, um, recently, I can't, I'm probably going to pronounce this so bad. But anyway, um, recently in a zoo, okay, a four-year-old found a way to get into, um, a gorilla um thing and i have to wonder you know how the child even did it and how the mother didn't notice i understand i'm not bashing the mother i'm not judging her by no means am i doing that but i have to wonder how in the world did you not notice your child being in exhibit with a monkey I mean, from what I heard is that the child did say that he was wanting to get into the exhibit with the monkey, okay, and somehow he eventually did that, obviously, if he did watch the video, um, but I would want to get away from there if my child was wanting to do that. First of all, I wouldn't put my child down and let him play around it an exhibit, especially if it's really low to the ground where they could get inside of it. No, that's a no. First of all, the monkey, um, he just celebrated his um, 17th birthday, I believe, from what I read, and I never witnessed this monkey version. Um, I heard really great things about the zoo. Um, I've always wanted to go. Um, I'm not, I mean, I don't want to butcher the zoo because, I mean, people are blaming the zoo because they should have trained out, uh, trained shot the zoo uh the gorilla instead of you know shooting it which i agree but the 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 gorilla was huge it's like i think it was 400 400 pounds i believe it was a big gorilla and okay i studied in veterinary and stuff way before creative writing thing let off um but anyway um when you shoot an animal with this little stuff okay it takes a long time to kick in for an animal to even go down and if one of it's a big animal like the gorilla it will take a really long time to kick in and to you know for them to do something so they act you know they act, try to act on the you know what was going on so that the kid wouldn't get hurt and many people because of the news they didn't release the full video of what happened so people are saying well the the animal didn't hurt the child the animal drug the child through the water and as i've seen um or heard too that the animal um hit the child on the wall or something but he did drag it through the water and yeah he i heard that he was left with a concussion the mother's release um, some scrapes and some stuff was luckily that he didn't get hurt even more worse 
But I just, first of all, where was the bad watchers? Where's people, you know, I mean, did the people not even acknowledge what was going on? Did they not tell the mother what was going on? I mean, who was with the mother? Where's the father? Where's the people, the family? If there was not no one with her, I mean, she has other children. Who's all watching these other children also with her? I mean, someone should have been with her also. So that way she can, you know, do other, you know, be able to watch them all. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't, it just, it shouldn't happen. And I'm so sorry for the, you know, the gorilla. And I'm so sorry for the, the child to endure that. And I'm, I wouldn't even dare to say that the child should have did that and should have gone through that. And should have been the one to, you know, be harmed rather than the gorilla. No. Because when you are in a situation where, the ch where a child is in danger, you have to act fast and do something about it. Not sit there and be like, aww, but it, it's a gorilla, or it's an animal, or it's something. What if your child is getting attacked by a pit bull, or by a cute puppy, or by a cute cat? You're just going to sit there and be like, but he's so cute, and he's so cuddly, but he's putting your your child in danger and you see blood but you don't want to act fast on it you know what I'm saying I mean I get that the child didn't you know get severely you know damaged or like you know really bad but he got lucky um it just really sucks and um I've been to really many zoos well my son has been to a lot too and he's um going on three and he's barely maybe three feet maybe at most and he he's very fast and if you don't you don't keep your eyes on him he whoop <laughs> I mean you got to you know know what's going on with your children so I mean that's my tip is just to be careful because no matter what no matter how good of a parent you are accidents happen mistakes happen things happen it's just how it happens. It's just thank goodness that the child is safe and that the child is okay. But the mother, the parents, the family needs to start looking out for this child and listen to what the child is doing. The child told him what he wanted to do and obviously act on that. So why did you not think, oh, wait a minute, my child wants to do this. Well, let's go somewhere else. Let's go look at the polar bears because you ain't going in here. Let's go. Let's leave. Let's get out of here. Why did you not do that? Did you not hear the child and what the child was wanting to do in the first place? Okay, anyway. That's my opinion. I'm going to see a lot of judgments in my post today. But that's how I think of the situation. I'm a mother of one. And I couldn't handle more than one myself. But when you're going to a zoo and you're only one person, you should have more people with you and helping you, you know, with the child and children and, you know, that's my opinion. I mean, if you can't handle them all, you know, you should have somebody with you. So that way you can, you know, watch one child and they, you know, help you watch the other children, you know. So, I'm so sorry, but I just wanted to share that, my opinion on that. I've seen it a lot today and I was so sorry for the zoo and so no, here's my opinion. I think this, the zoo, the zoo should sue the mother for wreck endangerment, for stupidity, for obviously abusing, not even understanding what she should be doing, and God forbid if something did get out of control and the child even up dead, and she'd probably be suing the zoo for not protecting her child we'll see that probably soon they didn't protect my child they didn't protect. it's their fault <laughs> no it's y'all's for not watching your channel next time you might want to but anyway um that's my opinion on the whole subject let's change that but anyways um what else what else is going on today that's the only crazy thing today but anyway um well or something else. I just can't remember what it was. Oh, um, trying 
to like update you guys on stuff that's happened and I can't remember what it was. But anyway, um, I guess the whole subject of that article. Um, anyway, um, I just been busy, you know, with school, with you know, writing and blogging, uh, all that stuff. Um, there hasn't been really much. I mean, like crazy stuff going on this week. Stuff where we, we went, you know, we went to go watch graduations. We went to go to a party. You know, like, not a crazy party, not nothing like that. We not that people. But we went to, like, a party, a birthday party. And then, that's pretty much it. We swam, swam today. Swam, swam. The new word, you guys. Swam. Hashtag swam. <laughs> but anyways, um, it was a pretty great week and great weekend. And, um, yeah, it was pretty fun. And I don't know what we're going to be doing tomorrow for, um, a moral day. Oh. That made me think of it. Um, thank, thank you, thank you to every men and women out there who fight and continue fighting for our freedom. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today. And thank you guys so much for everything you do for our world and continue keeping it safe. And you guys, I hope you come home soon. And we all are here. And we hope you are safe. And we hope you come home safe as well. Anyway, that is what Meryl Day is about anyway, so make sure you be very appreciative to everyone who served and continues to serve and is in the military. But anyway, what are you doing today? Sorry for the mess, um, uh, that's probably going to be on our list tomorrow is, um, cleaning. Yeah, that's what happened yesterday. We came home, it was like, we were so exhausted, and, um... We had our house, you know, you know, somewhat clean, and then we came home and we just do, we just didn't care. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm so sorry that you know the videos. I haven't did much of them, but I will be doing predictions for Money in the Bank. Um, if you haven't, definitely go check out Wrestle One on Karen's podcast, and definitely go give it a listen, check it out, follow it. Um, I'll be doing, as I said, podcasts every, when I do my blogs, basically, schedule. And if you haven't checked out Wrestle 1 and Karen on Facebook and Twitter at Wrestle 1 and K, definitely do that as well. Oh, and also when the, um, the blog awards come up, you guys who support Wrestle 1 and Karen, you better vote and you better support it. And you better do the best you can to get it as recognized as it deserves. Anyway, um, that is all my, oh my gosh. I've been holding this camera like for like ever and my hand hurts. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, like I said, you know, I never promised that I would do videos every day. That was not, this is not how too cute creative schools it works. I don't have a set schedule and I don't have a time when my videos are up. I do how I do and work how I do. I don't, I don't set like, I don't have a, I don't have a thousand subscribers. When I hit that, sure, I would do it. But, you know, until then, I'm just going to do how I do things. Work at how I do. And, you know, I have a family. And I want to, you know, spend time with them. Work on my school. Get it finished. Get everything I have to do done for my blog. And work for my dreams. And work for him. And correct things. And, yes, I have the time. I don't, you know, I don't have anything exciting to show you guys. I don't have anything exciting to talk about. I mean, the only exciting thing I talked about today was probably that the article was very engaging and I had to share that today. But I will also link that in the description. Also, if you want to check that out, um, if you want to share your thoughts also, definitely let me know below. Um, don't judge me for my opinions, okay? Definitely share your own. Uh, no judgment in the comments also for anyone who wants to share their opinion. Definitely do that. Um, let me know what you think of it. And, I don't know. I just think that they should have just, I don't know. It's just hard because there's no, like, right or wrong way of doing it. Because, I mean, the, the wrong way was the mother didn't watch the child. And the wrong way is probably they should have done better with where the, the animals was. If it was easy to get a child in there, they needed to do more better. I hope that while this is going on, that they do that and make it more harder for anyone to get into. You know, they can see the animals still, but still aren't e able to get into there. 
But anyway, um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. <laughs> so sorry. But, um, I'm sorry, but I'm watching this video. I mean, movie. Video. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Anyway, um, we can end it on a, um, a Would you rather? It's gonna be our um, tradition on this channel. Would you rather? Also, how cute is that? Too cute. Anyway, and this uh, packaging is cute, also. Anyway, are y'all gonna go see Fan and Dory? Ooh, that reminds me. Well, that. Well, sort of. Um, have y'all seen Alice through the looking glass? I'm just gonna say it's awesome and incredible. Maybe I could do a review maybe one day. But, you know. I just thought it was really awesome. Okay, here we go. Alright. Would you rather always have to wear wet socks or always have to wear wet underwear? I'll say wet socks. I don't, I don't think I would like underwear, but, but. I'm sorry, that's really not PG. Um, alright, here we go. Would you rather spit when you talk or always get spit on when spoken to? You. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Anyway, um, I guess that's all I have you guys. Um, I really dig that, that book. If you haven't picked up a copy... You should. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys, and thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for subscribing, and hopefully it'll be more videos soon, and hopefully I'll be picking up the vlogs eventually. But anyway, um, definitely check out Russell and Karen in the description below the podcast and the blog, and the links to any social media will be below, and I will definitely post that um article below the one that I seen. And the one that is unedited, I will definitely put that in the description below. So definitely go check it out and definitely um, let me know what your thoughts on this situation is. And, you know, how do you think they should handle it? And how do you think it should have gone? First place. But anyways, um, I'm going to end on the note that thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for all the views, for all the reads, for everything. For Russell and Karen, thank you guys so much. We reached, um... The last I checked was 3,717 page views, and right now we're almost to 7,000 um, people reached for the Wrestle and Karen page on Facebook. So definitely um, go check it out, go like it. Um, it almost says 200 likes also. Um, so thank you guys so much for everything, and I wouldn't be here with out any of you and thank you guys so much hopefully one day we'll get into WWE we're just gonna keep hoping to keep dreaming and keep working on everything we do and keeping it being the best that there is and that there will always be anyways um that is all I have for you guys until next time you guys have a great day have a great weekend and um great you know four day week and yeah yeah and quarter the weekend too well it's not gonna be too long I guess for the people who has to return to work next week. Good luck to that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week also. And um, you'll be seeing me. Well, wrestling went on camera on Monday. After Raw. So there will be a new blog Monday. And there will be a new podcast after that. So definitely stay tuned for that. And go follow me at Wrestling101K. For a lot of tweeting during Raw. And thank you guys so much for everything. Again, subscribe. Like this video. And thank you guys so much. And hopefully there will be more videos soon. And there will definitely be a prediction video for many of the makes. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much. Bye.